This is Jupiter Today for the 11th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today we've got eight Jupiter satellite events and two satellite neutral events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west. Europa also starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede spends most of the day in quadrant three, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, heading west. So at the beginning of the day here, as you can see, everyone is moving west. At 4.13 UTC, the transit of EO begins. And at 4.57, EO's shadow ingresses. At 6 hours UTC, EO is transiting. And is going to be moving into quadrant 3, heading west. At 6.30 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And at 7.15, the shadow of EO egresses. And then at 9.55 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. And at 11.27 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. And by 12 hours UTC, Europa is transiting and going to be joining EO and Ganymede in quadrant 3, heading west. And by 12.49 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 14.21 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. And by 18 hours UTC, EO has gone past its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. And Ganymede is very near its western elongation. From 1917 to 1923 UTC, Europa occults EO. That's going to be over here. It's a 5.6 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.183 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.496 magnitudes. And these are a good distance away from Jupiter, 91.25 arc seconds. So a good photometric opportunity for anyone who is doing that kind of work. And then from 2029 UTC to 2036 UTC, Europa eclipses EO. It's a 6.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.251 arc seconds and a nice deep magnitude flux drop of 0.688 magnitudes. And again, it's a very good distance away from Jupiter, 78.4 arc seconds, and Europa and EO are 28.49 arc seconds apart. So, those of you that have this event visible in your area, and if you are doing photometric type work on these kinds of things, this would be a great event to do that. At 2045 UTC, EO goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 423,546.7 kilometers. And then by 24 hours, 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO is still firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. Europa is in quadrant 3, heading west. Ganymede has just passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. And Callisto continues its slow path westward in quadrant 3. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's the connection between Eo and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, that's a nice twist there. And then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and then Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of these and colorize them to get that for today. 
24 hours of Jupiter's sky, sitting on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds, seeing all the stars and all the moons of Jupiter. And we're going to sit at a longitude of zero degrees and just let the planet rotate and see what we see over the next 24 hours. Jupiter rotates a couple of times in a 24-hour period. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. First at 4.40 UTC and the second at 14.36 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, five minutes, 38.9 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 40 minutes, 3.4 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 143.77 degrees. And that's 1.086 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 6.31 degrees. And that's 0.166 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 674,483,890 kilometers. And that's 1,403,977 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. The two planets appear to be moving away from one another. And that's at a, at a radial velocity of 58,499.04 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,531.79 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Sun and Jupiter today is 799,160,664 kilometers. And that's 45,000 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth and the Sun of 1,875 kilometers per hour. And that's 1.71 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 159.84 degrees. CM2, 288.86 degrees. CM3, 205.97 degrees. Time of this recording is 0 hours 5 minutes UTC on the 11th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to all of those who are subscribing. I'm trying to encourage everyone who watches this to not only go out and observe Jupiter, but actually record it in some way, photographically, photometrically, any way that you can, trying to monitor the activity up there as often as possible. So you can send your images or comments, questions, suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.